What's up everyone and thanks for joining me again this week. A while back, I was at a local user group meeting and someone asked me the question, is it faster to have a query execute within a store procedure versus if that same query was just kind of executing on its own on an ad hoc basis? And I thought that was a great question and uh, the people that I happened to be with, the, the group was kind of split about whether a store procedure is faster or not. And so that's what we're gonna answer in today's episode. So in short, the answer is there is no difference. A stored procedure query uh, versus that same query outside of a stored procedure will execute exactly the same way 99.9% uh, .9 of the time anyway there's always a, a small edge case that you know where that doesn't uh, occur but keep watching this video to find out why all right, so let's just start with the basics. If we have a stored procedure and we execute that stored procedure either from an application or from like our SSMS query designer, the only data that's being sent to the server is that actual execute stored procedure text compared to maybe a, a several hundred or several thousand line stored procedure. Yeah, it may take fewer network packets to deliver that execute stored procedure, but that's really the only performance difference you're gonna get there. After receiving the execute procedure statement or the actual ad hoc query text, the SQL Server Optimizer is gonna treat those two queries exactly the same way. It's gonna go through the same optimization process. It's gonna check and cache first to see if an execution plan for that query or that execute procedure statement already exists. If not, it's gonna go through the optimization process equally for both queries. And so in the eyes of the optimizer, it doesn't really care if your query is embedded in a stored procedure or not. In other words, if you could run the stored procedure query and the ad hoc query at the same time on the same server and nothing changes in between runs, the optimizer will generate the same plans. To prove that point, I can take this query here against the Stack Overflow database, which is just getting a count of the number of upvotes um, on a post. And if we take the query embedded in a store procedure, run it, we'll see the execution plan uh, that we get from it. And if we run that same query outside of the store procedure, you'll see we get the same exact execution plan. Once again, no difference. All right, so just quick side note, right? This is true for 99% of the cases. There are uh, certain features in SQL Server like natively compiled store procedure when you're doing in memory uh, operations or temporary object caching, right? Which will only work from stored procedures, right? There's these certain features that potentially could give your stored procedure better performance. And I don't wanna nitpick over that, I'm responding to this question in terms of the way I've always heard it, which really ends up being a debate about whether people should put their code in stored procedures or if they should just embed the queries in their application. And for purposes of that discussion, there is no difference in terms of performance. But there are other differences, so keep watching. And at this point in the discussion, right, people swear that they have seen stored procedures perform faster than an ad hoc query. And I believe them, this is very possible. But wait, Bert, didn't you just say that the performance should be identical? Yeah, the performance should be identical, but it doesn't mean it ends up being identical. A few weeks back, I did a video about reusing plans from the execution plan cache, and I talked about how small differences in white space or character spacing or a million other things could cause SQL Server to not reuse a cached execution plan. Because of this, if your query is embedded in a stored procedure, it's a lot less likely to change or you know, have something cause SQL Server to not wanna reuse its execution plan. Versus if you're copying and pasting an ad hoc query into the query editor window in SSMS uh, or something like that, it's very possible you will make a tiny little change that will cause SQL Server to generate a new execution plan, which will take some additional time and it could generate a totally different plan at that point in time. And so the performance could be different. So while in theory, there's no performance difference between these two methods, I think stored procedures will improve your chances of reusing an already existing execution plan. All right, and finally, right, every time I, I hear this question come up, what the question really comes down to once you start investigating is, you know, where should query logic be stored? And this ends up being a totally personal preference, right? That of whatever works best for you and your team and your coworkers and your database administrators and your developers. Everyone's situation is different, but in general, I would say, right, if you are in charge of maintaining your application code and you're in charge of performance tuning and there's no one else around to help you, uh, you know, do whatever's best for you. Keeping that query logic in your application uh, is perfectly fine because you're not gonna get any kind of performance difference. Uh, and if it's easy for you to access that query, great, then if that works for you, perfect. 
However, if you're in an environment with a database administrator, right, who maybe helps you perform and tune your queries and make sure that the server is performing well, uh, I would argue that it's much better to put your query logic into that stored procedure and outside of your application code. The reason for that being is it will be much easier for your, your DBA to gain insight into what queries are running and what, you know, what is causing performance problems. If your query is buried in your application code, it becomes a lot harder for your database administrator to get that query out of there. So in those instances where you are getting the help of other people in performance tuning and things like that, I really recommend putting your queries in a stored procedure just because it helps give insight to those other users who maybe don't have access to your application code. Not to mention that having all of your queries in the database is kind of just neat and tidy. If anyone ever wants to know where a database call is happening, where the logic for that is, they know to go look in the database itself. So that's it. I hope this was a helpful video. Uh, you know, keep in mind in the eyes of the query optimizer, it doesn't care if you're submitting a stored procedure or an ad hoc query to it. It's going to produce the same types of execution plans, all other things constant. But for personal reasons, for business reasons, I usually prefer putting my query logic into a stored procedure uh, because it's usually easier to access, it's easier to organize. And if you are working with someone like a database administrator, it will give, it'll make their lives a lot easier uh, to help look at that query, help tune it, and help make your application run faster. So thanks for tuning in again this week. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did and you're not already a subscriber, be sure to press that subscribe button so you never miss any of my weekly videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.